Welcome, everyone. My name is Fred Zucker, and the program is To Your Health. We are reaching out to people that want a healthier lifestyle from Parker University in Dallas, Texas. Uh, the program today is a very special one, as all our programs are, but today we have a very special guest, Dr. Bill Morgan, who is the newly minted president of Parker University. Dr. Morgan, welcome to the program. Thank you, Fred. Dr. Morgan, would you give us a little bit of background on how you came to be here at Parker University in your career? Certainly. Um, I became a chiropractor after I injured my back shortly after I got out of the military. And, you know, I'd, I'd gone to medical doctors, physical therapists, and nobody was able to help me. But they did tell me not to go to a chiropractor. Not to go to not a chiropractor. Not to go to a chiropractor, okay. which at that point I was like, well, what else do I have to do? Right. To Might as well try it. Yes. Yeah, so I went to a chiropractor, very professional um, chiropractor. Within one week, I was 90% better, changed my major, became a chiropractor, most awesome decision of my, of my life. It's been a great profession. I've loved being a chiropractor for these past 31 years. I met my wife in chiropractic college, and uh, Claire, um, who's she grew up as, with a chiropractor as her primary care doctor. Wow, so it's um, in her so life for she, a long time. It, her family's longtime chiropractic um, patients. They believe in the chiropractic lifestyle. They've, you know, it's, it's, it's just been a real blessing. So with that, I, we, my wife and I went into practice. We were private practice for 13 years, and in that time, um, we, we practiced in hospitals as well as our private practice. Hmm. And, uh, and, and all told, I've been credentialed in five hospitals. So I've got a kind of a unique path for chiropractic. Um, 13 years into, into my uh, career, I, I responded to a, a, an ad for a uh, research project at Bethesda Naval Hospital. And I was accepted. So I let my associate take my practice. And mm -hmm. my family and I moved to Washington, D.C., where I started this research project. Shortly after I started the research project, I started treating members of Congress who had got care at the uh, National Mil Military Medical Center, or the National Naval Medical Center, Bethesda. And subsequently, I ha had a uh, practice in the U.S. Capitol Building for, no, oh, how long was that, 16 years, wow. um, treating members of Congress, Supreme Court. And along the, the uh, path, I became the uh, chiropractor to the White House, the first uh, ever. The seat of power. Yes, exactly. So... It was. It's been quite a quite a journey, and during that journey, also we we provided chiropractic care to the uh, the heroes returning from the wars in Afghanistan and Iraq. So for ten years, we provided um, chiropractic care to those that special population. America. I tell people I had the honor to treat America's leaders and America's heroes. America's leaders and heroes. And thank you for your service, by the way. Well, thank you. Yes, and, sir. and for yours. Thank you. Absolutely. But well, what a career and what a wonderful thing it is that we have now the benefit of that experience here with us in your presence at, at Parker University. Parker University is a great institution with a long, rich history, as you know, relatively young by chiropractic college standards. But we have a, a great legacy here at Parker University, that of Dr. Jim Parker, our founder. Truly. And as, as many people know who are interested in chiropractic and the profession, Dr. Jim Parker started the seminars in 1951. So this is the 65th anniversary of the Parker Seminars, the Sapphire Celebration, as we're calling it. Give us a few points. I know that you were an early participant in your career at the Parker Seminars yourself. Well, when I went to chiropractic college, we learned to be chiropractors at chiropractic college. Then we went to Parker Seminars to learn how to, to run a business. The business part. So we, we, my wife and I were struggling along in practice, a couple years into practice, and... Uh, you know, our practices weren't doing so awesome. So my wife was pregnant, so I left my pregnant wife in, in Central California, got in my old rusty pickup, yeah. drove to Las Vegas, parked, you get an off, off the strip, a cheap hotel. Mm -hmm. And I, I remember walking a mile to uh, where the ho hotel was because I didn't want anybody, any of my classmates, to see me driving that old rusty pickup. Really? And uh, went to the, the seminars, and I was taking notes on everything. There's Charles Tremendous Jones was there that year. Everything Jim Parker uh, would say, I'd wrote down, and yeah. he, there was there was a track for new doctors, where you couldn't go with the seasoned doctors until you learned the basics of running yeah. the practice. And it really it was about learning the basics of chiro of, of a chiropractic business. Right. You know, we all knew how to adjust and, and and be chiropractors, but we were struggling. And it's not only that I went there and listened to the masters, I brought it home and applied it to my yeah. practice. And it made a difference. Oh, it made a difference. It made a big difference. It was a demonstrable change in our practice. 
at that point. In fact, there's this famous picture with Jim Parker. I think they say there's 7,000 chiropractors in that picture, or people in that picture. Remember Jim Par- Parker pointing out in that, that year that 10% of all chiropractors were in that room. 10% in of, that one gathering. In one room. It was yeah. palpable. The energy yeah. was palpable. And you know, it's, Parker Seminars has been very special to me, and it was a turning point in my career. Well, they, they continued on today. And now that you're the president of Parker University, interesting how history has conferred upon you the, the, the management of that legacy from mm-hmm. Dr. Jim Parker. And we are in the process now of preparing for the next round of Parker Seminars, the first of which will be coming up in October here in Dallas. Would you say a few words about the, the coming programs of the Parker Seminars? Oh, yeah. We've put a lot of effort into making a lot of effort. into uh, this is a successful uh, event. We're really focusing on the principles, the passion, and prosperity. The, the, the things that Jim Parker really valued highly, we're going to make sure that we bring business, the, the acumen of running a successful business right. forward, how to be a successful chiropractor, how to communicate. We definitely are, are going to push and share the information that will be valuable to the doctors on Monday morning to make them more successful. Right. That's the thing about it, I think. is I've been to many Parker mm-hmm. seminars myself, and I think it's so important that, that what you ha- have at the seminars you can take with you back to your practice, put it into operation immediately, Mm -hmm. and see the benefits right there, right then and there. And as you said, we're celebrating our 65 years. So we're going to have a celebration. We're having a re-unveiling of Jim Parker's statue. One of the things that's going to be unique to Dallas is one one of the things that uh, me as a clinician, um, what I like to see is is, uh, technique seminars. It's becoming harder and harder for a chiropractor to go and learn technique, to master our craft, to learn how to adjust. So since we're having this on campus, we have these large adjusting labs. We're going to have a lot of technique at the Dallas Seminar. Help retool and re- you know, refresh our craft. Absolutely. One of the goals I have at Parker University as a president and also in charge of Parker Seminars is to create master chiropractors. Yes. Master clinicians. What does it take to be that master, to continue to grow throughout your entire life, your entire career, so that when you're at the end of your career, you're a better adjuster, you're a better chiropractor, than you were when you started. And having a, having a plan to just continually improve those 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 attendees. Absolutely. Well, as, as we know, being in education, once you finish your training, you're just beginning to learn. And you never mm-hmm. stop learning. And the Parker Seminars are a wonderful way to do that. Chiropractors are required to have a certain number of CEs every, mm-hmm. every year to maintain their licensure. And that's what they can do with the seminars, but they also get that passion and in, in the principles upon which it's built that Jim Parker yeah. established, we know all around, loving service mm-hmm. is my first technique, is I think one of my favorite of the principles. And he's the one who started that that whole legacy that we now benefit from. Well, and truly, and we really do want to create an event. We want an experience. It's not just about the CE, although we're going to have r- the best lecturers in CE and the best uh, right. clinicians to teach how to adjust. We also want to have that experience that, why did, I, why did I become a chiropractor? Right. And we share that, that commonness, the, the, the bond that bonds us together, that we share the same battles, and that we want to encourage right. everybody and be, you know, come together for, for a time of recreation and celebration. That's and, right. And, and remind each other, why did we become a chiropractor? Why, why did we become chiropractors? Right. Well, I think that's one of the great things about it also, just seeing the, the people coming together who mm-hmm. share that passion for chiropractic, what it means, the philosophy, the, te- the science, all the things that make it mm-hmm. a great profession. Dallas Seminar is October 13th through 16th. October 13th is a, a, a day mm-hmm. of activity for the alumni. And we certainly send a shout out to all our alumni, especially in the Dallas-Fort mm-hmm. Worth area. Make plans to come. On the 13th, we're going to have, the, on, the four, on Friday the 14th, they are having the dedication ceremony. Mm-hmm. We're actually moving Dr. Jim's statue to a new pr- place of, of prominence on the campus. And uh, there'll be uh, speeches and proper celebration of his legacy in, in the, the, the actual presence of the statue. And uh, there'll be some celebration of that afterwards and so on. So it's a great chance to come and see him. I'm actually gonna be, actually to see the campus in its uh, sort of new, new uh, form. We're renovating the plaza where the statue will be, be uh, established. So the alumni in Dallas-Fort Worth, we certainly encourage you to come October 13th through 16th. But then there's Las Vegas. Yeah, baby. What can you say about Vegas, Dr. Morgan? Well, well Vegas is going to be fantastic. It's we, we've, You and I both have traveled and looked at the Paris, the hotel we're going to, we're going to have it at. Beautiful location. 
Um, the venue is beautiful. The, the program beautiful. is going to be great. Yep. It's going to be memorable. We definitely would like to go back to Jim Parker's playbook of bringing strong prosperity speakers here uh, in, into the into the venue. Make sure that people learn chiropractic that were, were elevated. That one thing is we we aside from the principles, which we really want to drive home. Absolutely. And one, the, the one I uh, like to share, by the way, is nature will give you what you act like you already have. Right. So I, I got to go back to the story. When I was at Bethesda Naval Hospital, I dressed every day as if I was going to meet the President of the United States. Really? That's great. That's I, a good way to think about I, it. I had a suit there every day. I was, I was preparing for it. And one day. You did? Well, yeah. Well, so having gone, yeah, I got to, yes, the answer is yes. So there's a point of these principles work, and we share these principles, and we want to share success. And I know you're the same. You feel the same way I do. There's unlimited potential for success Absolutely. in this world. No Isn't, question about we don't it. believe in limited limited success. That's right. We want chiropractors to be successful. We want to equip them and t- give them the tools to just help as many people as possible. Right. And it, it's it really is about helping people. It it is our passion. We we all became chiropractors to help a hurting world that needs our hands. Upon Absolutely. Them. More than ever these Amen. days. Amen. And chiropractors make a difference in the lives of their patients every day, hands-on, truly, which is absolutely wonderful. The venue, as Dr. Morgan mentioned, is the Paris Hotel on the Strip, right across from the, the Bellagio. Uh, it's going to be a great venue for the, the Parker Seminar starting in February, it'll be February 23 to 25. There's another program coming up in Baltimore in April, April 20th to the 30th. So we have three seminars in the, in the offing coming up, Dallas, October 14th through 16th. Vegas, February 23, 25, and Baltimore in April 28 through 30. These are all wonderful programs, and we have special pricing this time around. What about that, Dr. Morgan? Oh, yes. We have a special low pricing for for, uh, our, for for all our venues. For Did you already mention Dallas? We mentioned Dallas. All right, nine, 99 and 199 for, for Vegas, it's going to be 199 for the first doctor, 299 for the doctor and two staff. Oh, that's, that's great pricing. That's a... A, a bargain but galore. wait but wait there's more there's more <laughs> the first 500 people who who um, register will get a free night's hotel at the paris first 500 registrants mm-hmm. will get a free night at the paris hotel yes we want to can't say, beat that yeah we want to say thank you to the whole profession for supporting parker seminars all these years and we really are going to celebrate jim parker's legacy it Absolutely. really is about jim parker and and everything he's given to the to the profession and we really want to you know, emphasize Jim Parker's plan for us too of of, of sharing not just chiropractic um, technique, which we are going to do, right. but also the principles that that he he shared with the world and and how to become a Absolutely. successful you know entrepreneur. Um, what we want to create is master clinicians and master entrepreneurs. Right, passion, pres- principles, and prosperity. Those are the three P's of practice. Uh, that will be uh, epitomized the Parker mm. Parker seminars, and you can register today. www.theparkerexperience.com. Go to the website, register, get in early. Those 500 rooms are going to go fast, so don't hesitate. Uh, Doctor Morgan, is there anything you'd like to say to wrap up and just sort of give a, a shout out to the, those who are watching about well, the seminars and about the university? Well, just it's it's been a real blessing to be here at Parker. The spirit that the 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 vibe here is so up. And everybody here is really about helping a hurting world yes. and just just giving back to this world with love and compassion, but also basically taking self-responsibility that if it is to be, it's to be me, that we are responsible for the lives that we're living. Very good. Well, Dr. Morgan, thank you so much for being our guest today on To Your Health. And uh, we encourage everyone who's listening in or watching us to think about coming to the Parker Seminars, Dallas, Vegas, and Baltimore. Tune in again for more To Your Health. Dr. Morgan, thanks again. Thank you, Fred. Okay.